freaking morning. And look at the lights. But freaking chilly in here this morning. I opened the door thinking it'd be roasting. Whew. Anyway, Monday the 22nd of June. Today's workout is Willy Wassel. You get bonus points if you want to make a video of you reciting the poem. And it's an EMOM. Uh, so every minute on the minute for five rounds of four movements and one minute's rest. So you'll work for four minutes, rest for one, and you'll do that five times. You're going to go minute of overhead squats, minute of floor presses or seated presses uh, if you struggle getting up and down off the floor. Uh, a minute of jumping squats or squatting to a chair as is appropriate. And then a minute of ab mat sit-ups or <coughs> seated knee tucks again if you struggle getting up and down off the floor then one minute's rest. So you're gonna count all your reps over the four minutes. So once you've finished your overhead swings, just keep counting as you start your floor presses. So say you did 20 overhead swings and it'd be 21, 22, 23, 24 floor presses. That makes it much easier to count than counting them all separately and having to do the maths. So in your minute's rest, write down, scribble down somewhere uh, how many reps you got. And that's what's gonna go into sugar wad. So, uh, that's it, right, let's cover this. So overhead swings can of course, as with everything that I program, be done with a number of different items. It's a fresh breeze. <laughs> so overhead swings, the weight goes right up overhead. So, on. so anything that you can hold in your hands and that you can swing up overhead safely, you can use. For the floor presses, you can use one or two weights. Uh, let's, let's go with these two. Okay, so, oh god, sorry, can't see me. I know I've got a weird setup this morning for some reason. So I'll show you this and we have that sit up swell on down here. So with the floor presses, you can do one or two weights, okay? So if you've got two dumbbells, they go at the same time together, okay? If you've only got one, then it can go single arm, switching hands as often as you like, or you can hold it like that with both your hands. It depends if you've got them, how heavy it is. Um, if you do single arm, just count every rep still because it makes it easier. So it'd be like one, two, three, four. Uh, and then with an odd object, something like uh, a stuffed bag, a breeze block, whatever it is that you've got, something like that. Uh, then for the ab mat sit-ups, your ab mat goes right in next to your butt. Sit with the soles of your feet together. Have the ab mat wedged in next to your butt. Don't worry, I'm going to talk about it if you don't have one in a second. Not butt. Uh, ab mat. <laughs> um, all the way back, touch the ground behind your head. All the way up, touch the ground in front of your feet if you don't have an ab mat. And if you have something, just checking to see if there's any hard objects in there, I don't think there is actually. Um, if you have something like a cushion or a little stuffed bag, you could put that in its place or a rolled up towel is quite good. It just fills that void. Yeah, that actually works quite well. It fills that void. Um, you, can have, you can do it without anything. They're a wee bit harder without, uh, without a an ab mat in there or if you really don't like that if you don't have an ab mat and you really don't like doing them without the ab mat then feel free to sub them for detox uh, if you are a total beginner and this sort of getting up and down off the floor takes you so much time that you lose half of your minute <laughs> of work each time um, then that's not it's it's good practice getting up and down off the floor, but it's not necessarily good use of your time in this workout. So I suggest that you sit on something and you do knee raises, okay? So you'd be looking to just lean back slightly, support your weight, lift both knees up together, okay? Now, if you still struggle a wee bit with both knees at the same time, just do, just do one at a time and that's absolutely fine. And then we've got jumping squats. Let's tip this up again a bit. 
So with your jumping squat, it really does what it says on the tin, you're going to do a squat and as you come up out of it, you'll jump. Okay, on like that. If you need to, then you can use a chair to sit on, okay, where you stand and if you can, do your little jump, okay, before going back down. Now you can either sit, stand, you don't have to do the jump, remember, or you can just tap your butt off uh, your chair and stand. So remember with your squats, if you've been doing this for quite a while now, you want to try and progress them on away from the chair, okay? So a workout like this is actually quite good for that because you're not having to do a set number of reps. You're just doing as many reps as you can during that minute. Same if you normally kind of avoid the jump squats. You know, you maybe want to try and put them in to this workout uh, and try and get that squat with the jump. So nothing too complicated. The movements are fairly simple today. Don't have to think too hard. It's good for a Monday morning. Um, shouldn't get too hot today either doing your workouts, so <laughs> that's a, that is a bonus. That's it. So, have fun. Let me know how you get on. See you later. Bye-bye.